Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is Valheim and we continue. This time we're going to be venturing out and having a little bit of an exploration day. I want to try and open up the Merchant Trader if we can and I would like to just take the boat out and open up a little bit more of the map, check out some of the other biomes. As you can see skills wise I've mainly been concentrating on bows and axes, they're pretty much the skills I prefer. Looks like we've got a raid happening. And these do happen at time to time. So you just come around your base. Now we defeated the Eldar in the last episode. So these rage should start scaling up a little bit and getting harder. They do tear as to what bosses you've defeated in the game. But I don't think this one's much of a raid. Now we do have Bone Mass, which is the next boss. We've got to locate that one. And we know it's somewhere in the swamp biome. But once we defeat bone mass then I'm sure these raids are going to be a little bit more difficult than they have been. Yeah, it looks like they're going away. So I've grabbed a couple of certling cores, some grey dwarf eyes and some wood so we can build a portal whenever we get where we're going and um, that way we can unlock a little bit more on our map. So as you can see I've pretty much covered this island here and I would like to sail around the outside of it, see if there's any neighbouring islands or if this turns into a sort of peninsula. But the merchant is supposed to be located around the Black Forest, Forest biome. And it's said that they do spawn near the coastline, so we should be able to see it from the boat. So I think we're just going to have a good sailing day and uh, check out what biomes are on our doorstep. Now if you did want to follow along with this, my seed for this world is Oddworld. So if I find and unlock things on the map and bosses, if you're not as much of a fan as I am of exploring the map, then by all means the seed is Oddworld. I'm just going to repair this before we set off. I must admit that's one of the things about this game that I really do enjoy is the sailing. Probably doesn't translate that well across in a let's play because you can be sailing around for quite a bit of time and right now we're going to be heading into the wind so if you're heading directly into the wind it's best to have the sails fully raised Let's just turn this round I've been playing around with this but yeah it definitely you just want to have one notch going forward like that there we go one forward and it will start eventually moving as fast as it can because we're sailing directly into the wind. Okay, well, it's been a minute. I've been sailing around and something has unlocked on the map just here. So I was going around the outside here and as you can see, this little bag icon's just opened up and it looks like it's opposite to us. So I would have entirely missed this had it not opened up on the map. Now, I've heard a few people saying that they found it really difficult to find their merchants, so I didn't know if we was going to do it in this episode. I'll just get turned round. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have sailed across there. It doesn't look like... It was so misty, I didn't really notice much of an island there. I'm just going to continue carry on down. But yeah, it picked up the merchant from quite a way away. It's great. So the plan is, if we get over there, and I'll put a portal down, it doesn't actually seem like it's too far away from our base location. Fortunately, we've got the wind right behind us here. Now, I have been sailing around for quite a bit of time. I've got off, actually, to explore some of the islands as well. i running across all of this. There's a good section of mountain there that we can't get to yet it's far too cold so I found a little bit of another highlands biome yeah here it is so I wonder if that is it there there's a little bit of a dome or a force field I think that must be it just bring our boat in here fantastic Some great 
here. Got a two star. Need to be careful because I haven't been eating any food in my boat, so. Okay, so this is Trader. Now, I haven't bought any of our currency with us. My plan was just to put the portal down. Haldor. And he sells the fishing rod and the Megan Yord, I think it's pronounced. She's actually uh, Thor's belt. The belt of strength. And that will increase our inventory space, which will make hauling all of the copper and tin that we've been doing a lot easier. Okay. Just grab some food. So we've got a strange character over in the background there. I think that is Odin. Sometimes you see him appear, he's just sort of watching over us. You get too close to him, he disappears. Little Easter egg there. So I think this tower sounds like it's got some skeletons in it. But this might do as a base. There's quite a few grey dwarves in here. Shaman. Skeletons inside that building. So down here. Need to get rid of these guys. I'll just switch to my bow for this. Out of everybody. It's quite a fight that one. Nope, still not. Don't know where they're all coming from. Okay. So yeah, I think we'll take this building. Looks like there's a bit of swamp biome over there. I can't see any spawners. with these skeletons because sometimes you can swing your axe around and you end up destroying the stairs and just get into this corner so I don't end up destroying anything. There we go. Just double check there's nothing at the top here. I think if we stick a portal down at the top that. So I'm just going to set up some sort of outpost here. Stick a door up. Perhaps even put a bed in here as well. And I think everything should be safe. Stick the, the portal at the top. I think the AI struggles getting up and down stairs so it should be safe. Okay. Stick a fireplace. 
face down as well. There we go, miscellaneous. Get a bit of light in here. And stick a bed down. Should be okay. There is no roof on this. Shove that there. Okay. Should be fine. Get some sleep. Okay, well, looks like. Our boat's been destroyed in the night. Oh, no. Well, even though I've got everything we're going to need to build the portal, I didn't build a portal back at base, so... Uh, it's going to be a long walk. It might be easier if I actually kill myself after putting the portal down to come back here because I'm not even sure we can get back to base from here. We're on a different island. We wouldn't be able to swim it. Um, okay. Well, I just jumped off the top of the roof and uh, put my stuff away as we don't have any more boats. Um, I'm just going to take some food with us. I've got all of the things we need to sell to the merchant. And we'll just get back of these, but I didn't really have any choice there. Um, I figured it was just easier to jump off the roof, build the portal. I think it might be an idea if we don't actually mow the ships. Perhaps we leave them out to sea a little bit, perhaps. That's the second time I've lost a boat. And, yeah, it seems like you turn your back for two seconds. They disappear. Okay, so... Just got the portal at the top here. Yeah, I just jumped off the roof. Put all of my stuff in here so we can get it back. But yeah, a little bit unfortunate that, that happened. I know that we've incurred a penalty on our skills. Some of our skills would have gone down because we died. But getting back to our main base without a boat would have been quite difficult. Just swap some of this stuff around. Okay, I think that's everything. Yeah. Let's go and sell some of these jewels to, is it Hodor or Hador? I forget his name. And now we got a portal there. Yeah, I just jumped off the roof. I put all our items away. Now the portal's open, we can come back here at any time. I don't know if we'll be able to afford everything that we need from the merchant this time should be able to get the belt the fishing rod Haldor okay so there's also the divergent circlet that's 620 that gives us a torch that'd be really handy it's that Megan yard I think that's how we say it the Megan yard that's what I want so We'll try and sell these gems. Whereabouts is sell? Um, is this it? Yeah, they just take it out of our inventory. Okay. So we've got 1400. Well, we can get the Megan Yard. Definitely have that. Leaves us 468. We can also get the fishing rod as well. And perhaps we've got a little bit of change left over. We might be able to get a little bit of bait as well. So that's increased our carrier weight to 450. We've just got an extra 150 weight there. 
so that's really going to make hauling things a lot better. Okay, and the fishing rod. I think we'll get a little bit of bait. The divergent circlet's going to have to wait. We'll come back for that. Also looks like he's got some meat for sale as well. I'm sure that's going to be a new recipe, but... Okay. We can definitely have a little try at fishing. Not sure how much better that is than me, but I'm sure there's going to be new recipes learned from it. So this looks like the perfect place to spend the day fishing, just off the pier here. I assume it's just going to use the bait from the inventory. I'm not sure if you can fish without bait. Whether it just increases the likelihood. Can't really see what's going over there. Looks like we had a bite, but oh, wrong button. Okay. Let's try that. I can see things a little bit easier here. There's plenty of fish down there. Okay. Just try and reel it in. So it looks like it's costing us stamina to do this. Okay, we just grab it off the end. There we go. Added two raw fish. Oh. Steak. So yeah, it's using the bait from our inventory. So not too hard to do a little bit of fishing. Probably a little bit easier than doing hunting for meat, but I have got plenty of boar meat. I'll have to figure out what recipes we can do with this. Cooking is a very important part of this game. I know we've got the home and half update coming very soon, and I'm sure that's going to see some changes brought to how the cooking is done. Okay. Let's keep gathering some fish. And that pretty much covers it for this episode of Valheim from myself. Next time, of course, we're going to be venturing into the swamp biome. We do have the crypt key, but I think this is as good a place as any to leave it on this one. Of course, if you guys are struggling to find the merchant, you can always use this map. The seed is Oddworld, and you could see it was pretty much south of the position of where we started, but you will need a boat to reach it. And I think, like I say, between episodes, now we've got the Magin Yord or Four's belt of strength I'm going to be able to carry a lot more copper and a lot more tin so venturing out I'm just gathering some resources they're going to be a little bit easier between episodes but yeah next time round we're going to be venturing out into the swamp biome but until next time I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you